What do you want? Oh, hello to you too. Are you calling to give me a report on Luke's whereabouts? Because I don't want to know. I don't. I don't. I don't care what happened to him. You sure about that? Yeah. Did you find him? He's in a jail in Ireland. For reasons I can't get into right now, I'm not in a position to help him. But you could. I'm not interested. However. I, uh, I think I'm going to have my lawyers contact the authorities in Ireland, so why don't you give me, um, give me his exact whereabouts and the name he's using, okay? Hey, watch where you're going, dumb cough. Sorry, I'm a little distracted here. Yeah, what are you looking at? Pretty darn hot, huh? Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What the hell's wrong with you, huh? Real men don't buy fashion magazines. Come on, give it back to me. I'm done with it. Beat it. She's beautiful. Yeah, well, I think so. She's definitely your child. She's blonde and perfect. <laughs> <laughs> well, not only is she the most gorgeous kid ever, she's also the smartest. Oh, you can tell that already? Yeah. I mean, oh, just right. look at her. I mean, she, she can tell she knows all the answers to the mysteries of the universe. Oh, I'm impressed. She does. Yeah, you wait. She's going to set a whole new standard for women all across the globe. And if she doesn't, you know, if she's not very smart, then I guess that's okay, too. <laughs> well, you can never be a great man if you're not a great father. So um, I'm really happy for you. And uh, what's your wife's name? Carly. I'm Carly. <laughs> I'm happy for you, too. You've made an incredible life for yourself. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess you leaving me wasn't as much of a disaster as I thought it was, right? So no regrets? I wouldn't say that. But the things that I love definitely outweigh any fleeting regrets I may have. And what are those? Things I love. should say to you is, um, well, thank you, I guess. <laughs> You're welcome, I guess. Yeah. Just let me know when the ship is for anything. Thanks. Carly, what's wrong? What's wrong? Like you can't figure it out? No, and please don't make me. I already have a headache. How could you bring Brenda back to poor Charles and not no, warn that, me? that wasn't part of the original plan. I mean, plan. there are a thousand guys that are more than happy to hold her hand and get her through anything. She doesn't need you, Jason. I need you. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't call. I was in work mode. You were in Brenda mode, and everything else takes a back seat. You were supposed to be different. This is starting to feel like a conversation I can't win. You don't owe Brenda anything. You were married to her for five minutes. You're not at her permanent beck and call, and hell, I don't expect Brenda to realize that, but I would expect you to realize that. Instead, you're letting her use you. Use me? Yes, use you. Brenda is a spoiled brat who has forgotten a toy, and now she wants to play with it again. Now, who that is, I don't know if it's Jax or Sonny, but she wants back in, so she calls you. Why couldn't you just say no? Hell, why couldn't you keep her in Rome? Well, you think I want Brenda living with me? She drives me crazy. I wouldn't have brought Brenda back here if it hadn't been the only way to save her life. Well, I guess Michael called himself heading sick to school today. And the principal called Carly, and then she showed up at my house to figure out what's going on. Is he okay? Yeah, she made him go to school. But now she wants to petition the judge to allow Michael to go and live with her and Jax. Oh, well, how do you feel about that? I tried to talk her out of it. Carly is not one of Judge Carroll's favorite people. I mean, as awkward as the living situation is, I think Michael is better off and more at ease with, with me. Oh, us. no, 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 no. Tell me you didn't tell her that. Uh, no, that would have been like putting a match to guess. Yeah, on. pretty much. So, you know, that is taken care of. But the current problem is how is it going to affect Michael if I prove that Sonny put the bomb in Johnny's car that almost killed Christina? 
I knew that when I told you I saw Brenda in Africa, you were more affected than you let on. Well, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, you know, it, it got to me. Yeah, I tried yeah. to play it off, but you couldn't fool me. Well, it's like it opened up a lot. You know, I was started thinking about her a lot, and I taught myself for a long time not to think about her. Then you bring her name up, and I'm, you know, got all these memories, good, bad. You lived your life very big together. Very, very big, all-consuming, and it wasn't always good, you know? Yeah. But that's what we had right from the start. Yeah. It was obvious that you two would either become the greatest loves of all time or... It would end a disaster, you know, no in between. Well, I'm thinking, you know, maybe this is this time we got a chance to get it right. As long as we're both brave enough to take that chance. Ah, uh, Mr. O'Reilly. My prayers have been answered. I had faith that you'd be a coming. Father, I thought you may be missing these. Oh, thank you, son. I'm lost without my Bible. What's the plan? It's no plan. Well, there's got to be a plan. I can't just stroll out of here, man of the cloth or not. Same on your cover. There's nothing I can do. Well, you could work your Interpol connections. I already called them for my release. If I stick my neck out for you, I may as well wear a big sign on my chest that says, I am not Roman. I'm sorry, you're on your own. I understand. Well, then what be you doing here, Mr. O'Reilly? I called Tracy. You know, since she thinks I'm looking for you at her behest, thought she might step up. Well, that was a good move. When's my way, darling, coming? She's not. In fact, she threatened to pay on charges to help the Irish out. Damn, that woman can alter grudge. And here I was thinking that absence would make her heart grow warmer. Well, I wouldn't rule it out. She does hesitate a little. I mean, it was just for a second, but I heard it. Well, with Tracy, a second's a long time. I'm going to take that as encouragement. I'm going to think positive about it. Mm. Yeah, but I can't do nothing from in here. Last chance, you sure you don't want to help me out, Mr. O'Reilly? I'd love to, but I've got my own problems to worry about. Like finding a woman who can blow my cover, convincing her not to. Okay. Michael urgently requests Fair Samantha's assistance. It's just, she is the only one that possesses the gift of reason when it comes to Stone Cold that is most stubborn. Uh, of course, what's going on? Okay, well, as you know, we have uh, a new guest at Casa de Stone Cold, yeah. one lovely of visage mm. and sensitive of nature. Uh, Brenda, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, she she's a delicate flower, and she requires care and handling, but... Stone Cold doesn't understand that. He treats her harshly when he should be doing more to see to her comfort. <laughs> Jason keeping Brenda safe is an entire inconvenience to his lifestyle. I mean, that's, that's not enough. Well, the Divine One hides her vulnerability behind a charmingly cuffed exterior, but oh. it, it, it is a front. She needs reassurances in these times of danger, maybe even a distraction. Hmm. Not that I'm suggesting any sort of romantic hmm. attachment, because I mean, ev everyone knows that... Stone Cold's heart belongs only to you. Well, Brenda may need reassurance, but I don't. I've had a moment of insecurity, but I'm um, over it. Great. Yeah. That's that's great to hear. So you'll talk to him. Get Spinelli, look, here are the facts, okay? Jason and Brenda, they've rubbed each other the wrong way, to put it very lightly. He is keeping her safe, letting her live in his house. If I were you, I wouldn't expect anything more than that. And, and I also, I wouldn't worry. I'm sure Brenda won't have any trouble finding whatever support she might need. Then we got back to Port Charles. Her hotel suite, her apartment was trashed. This is not a game, Carly. 
Okay, fine, but Brenda is a big international celebrity. Her fashion house can't provide security. Well, they do, but it's not good enough. Brenda's been gotten to way too many times. Then why not protect her in Rome? Why the hell did you have to bring her back here? Because Europe is the Balkans' territory. Who? The Balkan is the guy who's after Brenda. I want him to come to Port Charles. It's to my advantage. What the hell'd she do to him? Well, the assumption is that he's pissed because Brenda and her charity shine way too many lights on his operation. I personally think there's way more to it, but she's not talking and I can't prove anything. Do you see? Right there. That's why I can't stand her. She has information that would help you save her, but she won't tell you because she's too consumed in her own drama. I hate this. I hate that Brenda is back ruining everything. She's not going to stay here if that's what you're worried here. about. And how can you be so sure? Because... Once the Balkan is taken care of, she said she's going to be on the first plane home. Yeah, well, she may just have found a reason to stay. What does that mean? I just saw Brenda in Jax's office right before I came here. I'm afraid he's falling back in love with her. Tell me about your charity work. Uh, oh, okay. Um, what do you want to know? Well, what are you most proud of? I, um, I just helped to build this school for girls in Africa. We, we save a lot of girls from the brothels. It's, it's great work. It breaks my heart in all the right places. It's wonderful. Yeah. I have a partner, really, who does most of the work. Her name is Suzanne. She's really incredible. We have to do a lot of press, you know, to keep the money coming in, so... I guess what I really want to say is thank you for all of your generosity. I didn't realize you knew. I do. Well, I'll try to help any way I can. But I, I hope you're not just saving the world. I hope that you're happy in your personal I life am. as well. Yeah, and that was a great guy. And would that be the famous Murphy Sinclair? Oh, are you paying attention a little bit <laughs> here and there? Uh huh. Yes, there was Murphy. But not anymore. No. Well, I'm sorry. It's okay. For a couple of reasons, actually, you know. One, no one wears happy better than you. <laughs> That's true. Now that you're not with Murphy, you might be vulnerable to outside influences. Oh, right. Outside influences. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's a part of me that... <laughs> I'm really happy to see you, but I just, I hope that you wouldn't come back to Port Charles and get, you know, dragged back into your past. Oh, there's, it's, trust me, I look back on my life here in Port Charles and I realize there was nothing bad about my past. So, I have a whole new appreciation for the word home these days. So you plan to stay? No. No, of course not. It was, uh... Great to see you. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Yes. Okay. Well, <laughs> see you later. Hey, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you'd be happy to know there's still a possibility. I don't think there's a possibility. I mean, Brenda turned me down last time I talked to her. Look, I love Brenda, okay? I always will, but let's be honest. She came to see you. Yes. To tell you that she doesn't want to see you anymore. Right. That's your cue to change her mind. And I tried. I, look, I, I thought I put it away, the hope of, of us getting back together again, but I walk into my house, she's there, she came back from Rome, and we, we still had history and the spark and the whole thing. I, I just, you know, I just don't want to let Brenda get away again.